Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is a super motivating get it all done with me. So I'm sharing lots of cleaning motivation as well as another yummy recipe that you can share with your families. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. So I'm filming this video on a Monday and Mondays are always the messiest day in my house because nothing gets done over the weekend. Everything just gets left until the Monday. So I'm just gonna quickly go around the bedroom and neaten everything up before heading downstairs where the real mess is and just trying to tackle everywhere downstairs before starting dinner. I am doing a nice slow cooker recipe today. So if you are busy during the day and you prefer to just prep in the morning and let it cook all day, this recipe will be perfect for you. It's really handy for me when I'm filming all day because I can just get it done in the morning and then not have to worry about dinner when I'm filming so I absolutely love using the slow cooker and I'm definitely going to be using it more often As you can see, the living room it could really do with a good tidy as well as the kitchen. I'm just going to speed through the living room to get it as tidy as possible. Before heading through into the kitchen, I like to give everything a surface clean to begin with and then go around again, giving it a bit more of a deeper clean. I just hate the look of a messy room, so I always try and tidy it up first and then I'll come back to it later. Now the living room's all done, I'm gonna go through and do the exact same thing in the kitchen. As you can see, it's a complete mess. So I've gotta put everything away and give it a nice good clean before we can start prepping for dinner. Cause there is no way I can start dinner in the kitchen looking like this. I've also got some laundry to put in as well. So I'm just gonna try and whiz round and get as much done as possible before I need to start doing dinner. So who else is absolutely loving the colder weather that we've been having lately? I didn't think I would enjoy it, but I actually really am. I just love having my comfy hoodie on with my leggings and my fluffy socks and just being cozy 24 seven is definitely my cup of tea. I just love being comfortable. So I'm definitely embracing it this year. Normally I do complain when I'm cold and I'm just a fan of the summer, but for some reason this year, I feel completely different about winter and I'm really looking forward to getting even colder just so I can get even cozier. So do let me know if you're enjoying the colder weather as well.
So I've decided to dig my slow cooker out of storage because it never was really getting used but I think it's perfect for the colder months so I'm going to be making lots more soups and stews and chilies and everything like that because it's just so easy when you've got a slow cooker you can put it on in the morning and then just forget about it get on with your day and dinner's just ready for you by the end of the day so there's going to be lots of slow cooker recipes that come in on my channel don't forget to subscribe if you love cooking and recipes and you want some easy healthy recipes throughout winter and also click the bell to get notified every time I post. So I'm now just going to hang up the first wash load and it was only a coat and a few hoodies just stuff that we left in the back of the car and it had been in there for so long it needed a good clean so I'm just going to go ahead and fold these few bits up before putting another wash load in I'm going to go ahead and put all of my throw blankets in the wash because it is getting colder and they're getting used more often and they have just been in my throw blanket like basket for ages without actually being washed it is definitely time to get them washed even the ones that haven't been used i'm sure they're just dusty and it could do with a good clean before the winter months hit so i'm going to go ahead and take them all out give them a good clean So for today's dinner I've decided to do some Spanish potatoes because it's super easy and really healthy as well and it also gave me a great excuse to dig out my slow cooker. So first of all I'm just going to go ahead and chop the onion and then add it to the frying pan with some olive oil. Forget about size and rules oh, The payment and the long long rolls yeah. Always in such a rush mm. With your life playing from the stereo
always staring at your phone You need another great relief So next I'm just going to cut up a couple of garlic cloves along with a red pepper and a yellow pepper. Don't forget to check out the description box if you do want to make this recipe because I'm going to have all of the ingredients and all of the measurements and everything you need to make this down in the description box below. Fishes in the stream mm. and down the boulevard of broken dreams. So we'll make a little change in pay. Uh, I might not shift up time and space. Oh, baby, this time will be gone forever. Never in a lifetime will you see us back here again. So come before it's too. so once that's all mixed in together you can add one teaspoon of smoked paprika along with some salt and pepper I really wish that I prepped the potatoes beforehand. I completely forgot, so I'm just gonna go and peel them all now. The recipe does need three potatoes, but I decided to use four just because there was four in the packet and I thought it would be pointless to just leave one small potato in the fridge. And for Spanish potatoes, I thought you can't really have too many potatoes. If you make too much, you can always put it in the fridge for the next day or freeze it for a couple of weeks. Next up, it's the vegetable stock, tomatoes and olives. All you have to do is bring it all to a boil and then it's ready to be added to the slow cooker. And that is literally all you have to do. It is so easy and quick and perfect for this time of year. Just cook it on high for four to five hours until the potatoes are nice and soft and then you can serve it with some crusty bread or have it on its own. If you did wanna make this recipe, don't forget to check out the description box. So I've got all of the ingredients and the measurements all written down for you.
Shooting me with words, but I won't let them bruise Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet, it will come back to you Once I've got the kitchen all sorted, I'm just going to go ahead and swap the washing and these blankets smell absolutely gorgeous. They're so fresh and clean now and super soft. I absolutely love them. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them back in the order that they get used just so we don't have to keep digging to the bottom to find all of our favourite ones. And now they're ready for winter. So whenever I do the winter decorate with me, they're all there, ready, fresh and waiting to be used. So now I just need to hang up the rest of the clothes and get all that sorted so they're dry for tomorrow. yeah it's got about 45 minutes to go but it smells incredible so i just wanted to show you what it looked like and yeah it's absolutely gorgeous definitely recommend doing this recipe everything you need is down in the description box below I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have and it's brought you all the motivation that you came looking for today, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and also let me know down in the comments. Again, don't forget to tag me over on Instagram if you do decide to use this recipe because I would love to see what you all make and I will see you back here in the next one.